J3D Tech here, and today I'm doing a video that is a direct response to these 12K printers and this ACF film that they're shipping with. And so looking at this, what we can really see is that, um, you know, nice smooth texture on this one for the most part. Um, you know, zoomed in at this, at this level, it's always some textures versus the film. So the film definitely always has this kind of a grid, which is basically what we're gonna see here today, is that there's gonna be loss of detail and there's gonna be this textured pattern over it. Now this textured pattern is, you can feel it. You can't just see it, you can actually feel it with your fingers. And as we move across this print in different um, faces, we'll see this film, this grid is, it's all over the place. And the more pillars, the, the better. Um, the NFEP always prints more pillars. Not only does it print more, but it's they're more consistent. Um, this breaking and damage and less of them on all the prints I did on the film was consistent. I found this odd as I thought this was going to be the opposite. I thought the film would actually have less pill force, so therefore the pillars would print more. I didn't think it would be less. Um, and again, these are calibrated to perfect dimensional accuracy. So it's not like one pillar is exposed so it's stronger over one print or the other. Now these pillars are exactly the same size dimensionally. The settings are here, they're printed exactly the same. Uh, two second layoff delay, I'm moving very, very slow up. I'm very, very slow down to make sure I get a nice dimensionally accurate print. As we move to the anti-aliasing test, um, what we can see on the NFEP is, well, a lot of voxels and pixels, um, or layer lines, which this is no anti-aliasing, so this is about what we would expect, is just a lot of uh, cool, kind of cool detail. As we move over to the uh, film, we can still see the voxels, but there's this texture again that we talked about. And again, this texture is, you can feel it. And if you even run your finger all over it, you can hear it, it makes a sound. Um, if we move over to the box here, um, something really cool is where you can see the layer lines and the pixels uh, and the voxels here. Um, and you get some pretty good clarity as you can actually read all of these texts. And remember, these are, these are kind of microscopic here. Um, but on this one, this one's pretty much not, not eligible anymore, uh, legible anymore. Um, moving up here uh, on the flowers here, these are 0.2 millimeters apart from each other. Um, very, very small on this one. That one they seem to be okay. Again, it's just that texture kind of uh, all over them. Where this one's a little smoother. Mostly the, what we're seeing here is the lines and the other one getting a texture. Here, these um, ribs here are 0.2 millimeters as well. Very, very tiny. Um, getting them to show up here pretty well. But on this one, um, though you can still see them, it just has that fuzziness to it. If we move over to um, anti-aliasing, we can see the anti-aliasing Definitely muddied up some of those textures, but they're still visible. Um, and on here, with the anti-aliasing, they can seem a little bit, but they're mostly completely gone. Uh, same thing here on the text. Uh, we can still read this right here, but on this one, it's really no longer legible, even though the combination between the ACF film and anti-aliasing. Um, on the ball here, anti-aliasing's doing its job. We got some of the top, most of the ones on the side are gone. Um, but here, it, I could say it's actually pretty good anti-aliasing with that texture, it kind of made it all smooth. Um, same thing on the walls here, anti-aliasing's doing a pretty good job here, but on this one, we just got that crazy texture. Um, we'll go to the cube again, because it's probably the next easiest to tell the difference um, between the nice smoothness of the NFEP and this crazy texture of the film. I'm uploading the full version PDFs and JPEGs in the description of this video. Let me know in the comments if you find anything different or unique that you'd like to point out. Also, let me know how you feel about these new 12K printers coming with this ACF film and marketing towards speed versus quality, something I find a bit interesting. And thanks for watching and have a good day. So here we are inside of my printing area, which is a bathroom, so it's a little bit echoey. Here I have my first M3 Premium. Um, I keep temperatures. Um, I both check the chamber and the vat temperature. Um, this one I've got the, this uh, egg heater on it. Um, but basically what I'm trying to do is make sure the temperatures are always the same when I do a test. This one currently has the um, AS AFC film on it, which is, um, you know, this film right here, this is the normal NFEP, which is transparent, or the other film has an opaque uh, to it caused by a texture. Um, you know, that texture hoping to make it release faster, so faster printers. This is my other printer right next to it. Um, this is my newest M3 Premium. This one's using a, a VAT heater. Um, this is just a film I put over it to kind of protect it from any resin splashes that might occur. But same thing, I've got temperature readings inside of it as well so I can control them. Make sure the temperature is about the same always. I print these at 28 degrees Celsius um, on both of them at the same time. 
This one currently has the um, the normal NFEP on it. So I've got NFEP here, and then the, the new film on this guy, both set to the same temperature, both running the exact same profile. So what I sliced is just a copy of the same slice on this USB drive and this USB drive. And I've already pre-calibrated the printer so to know that the exposure on both these printers is in fact exactly the same. I know that some printers can have a discrepancy between them. These two did not.